What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. I'm your host, Internet Man. And this is a modern cube draft. This is a song about a whale. No. This is a song about being happy. Where the draws are made up and the mana distribution doesn't matter. That's good. I'm a fan. Remember that sweet Super Friends deck we had? The one where we went 6-0? Uh, Yes, I do. That was a treat, my good sir. Internet man, you're, you're so cool. It's you who's cool, Cheshire Pratt. It's you who's cool. All right. All righty then. I want to take this Carnage Tyrant, I think. I wanted to take Carnage Tyrant the other day, but then I didn't. <clears throat> I feel like this is a really strong card in this cube because, now hear me out. There's a lot of removal in this cube, and if you just don't have anything good against it, you just die. Neon Tokyo Rain, Pop-Tarts, Baby Pop-Tarts, I need some Pop-Tarts, baby, tonight. Pop-Tarts, I don't understand that reference, but you're amazing, buddy. Uh, that's wonderful, and I really appreciate it, and happy holidays to you, good sir. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what the rhythm for that is. Is that a song? Or are you literally just talking about how you need Pop-Tarts? Do a no mythic or rare draft? I would literally, if, that, if we did that, I would have three choices in this pack. It would be these three. Looking for some Pop-Tarts, baby. I need some Pop-Tarts. Yeah, okay. Now I know the song. That's all you had to say. And then my voice cracked a little bit there, so that was cool. Yeah, I just want this big dumb idiot. And look at that. They gave me a Demir signet. They're like, hey, man, listen. I rewatched the draft from the Planeswalker step, and there were two or three picks where you're 50% on which card to take. And each of those picks ended up being super impactful, and the card you decided to go with won the game at key points. Really? Monsanto, what were the two cards? What were the two or three picks? Because that's really interesting to hear. Because it's as, as someone who's playing the matches, it's hard to keep track of things like that. But that's super awesome to hear. I like that... Uh, I love that that's a thing in Magic where, like, this this one choice made a difference. This one decision in the drafting portion made a difference. Uh, I like this, I like this, I like this, and I like this. Oh, man. Demir Signet, why? Why? Why you gotta taunt me? Even Garrick's not terrible, but I'd rather have Master than Garrick. Oh, I don't know if that was good. I have no... Oh, I didn't even know Coalition Relic was in this cube. Wow, I knew Chromatic Lantern was, but I never... I hadn't seen Coalition Relic yet. <clears throat> how y'all feeling about... How you feel... Coalition Relic's just a better card, right? Like, this makes all your mana uh, do a thing, but this this is like... This can make two colors at a time, which should be all you ever need for any spell in your deck, right? Like, if I have Vampire Nighthawk in hand and no, no swamps, I could still make two black with a Coalition Relic. So, like, it's... I also think the ability to ramp with this uh, for two, you get to go turn three to turn six, is pretty huge. Thanks for continued support of the Flu Gang in the form of quality content. We are nearly recovered. Nice. Smoke dope. Glad to hear it, guys. Glad to hear it. Hashtag Flu Gang. I think it was when you were debating Bex and Zenith or Damnation, if I had to guess, both were, su both were super impactful. I know one of them was a Johnny, almost didn't take him, and then he buffed the Neil Spires. That's a good point, yeah. A Johnny was MVP in that match. <coughs> this is a light cryptic command. How much, what, do we, what if we take all the hexproof guys? Never passed a relic in my life. That said, I don't have MTGO. <clears throat> That's fair. Hmm. Chef's kiss. Hexproof stip. Hexproof stip is in the house tonight. Um, we also have Misty Rainforest and Cryptic Command. Cryptic Command might be a little problematic to cast. I kind of just want to take Nullhide Ferrex, I'll be honest with you. Especially with Demir Signet, we can cast that dude on turn three. I like Ronus here because it's turned on by all of our creatures. And it's basically kind of hexproof because it's indestructible. Oh, Immortal Sun. Hmm... Is this our Immortal Sun draft? Have you ever Nullhide Ferrex off a discard? Oh, God. 
I haven't, but boy, does that sound that sounds nice. I also like Breeding Pool a lot, and if the Misty Rainforest comes back, it's pretty sweet. We can also take the Obstinate Bailoth and just be so good against all the discard spells. I think I gotta blow my nose, man. I'm not thrilled about it. I might just want to take the Immortal Sun. I want to take the Immortal Sun for once, and then we're going to try to steer clear of all the Planeswalkers. I'm going to take this Woodfall Primus. Like, I want the Drawn Catacomb to fix, but we don't actually have anything to fix yet. So... I'm just going to take all the big green idiots and force my opponent to deal with them. <clears throat> I like a Doomblade. I probably like it more than Manalik, but I'm not sure. Manalik might be better. Like, we're going to be tapping out a bunch in our deck. Frost Titan's also not terrible. How dare you talk about Primus like that? Let's do a barbecue tip? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Barbecue tip is in the house tonight. Looking for some pop tarts, baby. Um, I'm gonna go with Mana Leak. Oh, Botanical Sanctum, perfect with our Mana Leak. That's beautiful. I'll take you. Oh, a Torrential Geralt came back, and we got a Mana Leak. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse also came back. Ooh, this is interesting. I do like Gear Hulk. I'm doing a step where I don't pressure your picks today. Hey, appreciate that. That's my favorite step. Barbecue stiff is where I get. Sounds like we're already doing it then. <laughs> oh, God. I'm actually going to take the Gear Hulk because I don't know if we're going to be black here. Eh, Doomfall is pretty good. Probably better than City of Brass here. Maybe we're black now. Wow, Cryptic Command came back? How is that real? That seems ridiculous. That doesn't seem real at all. Oh, the Bailoth came back, too. Man, play Liliana against me. I dare you. Even that guy's not terrible. Wow, blue-green blue was just, like, handed to us on a platter, dude. How does Cryptic Command table? Uh, no, Brian. I didn't... How would I have seen that? You didn't send anything to me. <coughs> Here's a good Liliana. Here's a Teferi, too. I don't think we want Planeswalkers, though, because we got that Immortal Sun action. Looking for a model sun, baby. Just keep in mind that having an excess of non-creature spells is a big nombo with Nullhide Ferox. That's true. Cultivate and Devoted Druid are also pretty good. I sent it to your email? Do you, I don't think so, man. I don't have any emails for me, buddy. Are you sure you sent it to the right email? Shut up and take my money. Sputnik, thanks so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are welcome for the content. Thank you for the support. Uh, I think it's one of these two. Actually, it might just be sort of body and mind. So the problem is if we have Nullhide Ferox out and we play Ancestral Virgin when it resolves, we have to pay two. I do like these. I don't like Water Grave because there's only black spells yet. Like, you really just don't need to fix black yet. I'm going to take this. Is that Ryu GIF a new donate GIF? I don't think so. They probably just picked Ryu. The donate GIF for us is Fry. Are we a Crater Hoof deck? Are all decks Crater Hoof decks? It's hard to say. My counterpoint is that Ancestral draws three cards. That's pretty good. I think Sylvan is better here, surprisingly. Which is kind of weird. But I, I agree with it, especially because we have Cryptic Command and we have a bunch of prohibitive mana costs. I'm going to take Sylvan Carry at it, and it feels weird to do, because I'm not used to that. I kind of like Time Warp here. This feels like a Time Warp deck where I just play a bunch of big idiots and bash your face in. If, if Cryptic can table, anything can table. Yeah, I actually agree with that. <clears throat> I 
Well, I don't think you guys are taking this 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 hexproof stiff pretty far. I don't know if we're actually playing hexproof stipulation here. Um, I like time warp. Uh, oh, turn to gear. I'll go ahead and do it. Dang it. It's definitely not all this dust. I'm gonna take this time time warp. Oh, Prophet of Crucifix. <clears throat> Instant Speed Carnage Tyrants? Yes, please. Oh, that's gas. Our deck seems interesting. I'm going to put it that way. I hope this Exclusion Mage comes back. That would be great. Mind Control? Also great. Our deck is looking spicy. I don't know if it's great. I mean, we have one card in our deck that, that doesn't play well with uh, Instants and Sorceries. I'm not, like, super bent out of shape about that. I want to bring the Kitchen Fangs because we, we end up losing a lot to, uh, to, like, Mono Red decks, and I think that could help our odds. Same thing with Aether Sphere Harvester. <clears throat> we can board that in against the red decks. Soar of Temptation. Have you ever had Barrel plus Cure and play at the same time in this cube? Uh, no. Why? Is there an interaction there that I'm missing? I think it's just Sower of Temptation. <clears throat> what is wait, what is Kiora though? What does Kiora have to do with Barrel though? It's a loot every time they get countered. Barrel I mean like Barrel lets you loot every time you counter something anyway. Right? So I don't understand the Stratus Dancer. Oh, Kira. Oh, yeah, significantly different. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that's that's actually that actually sounds sweet. So they like play something, it gets countered automatically, you get the loot for free, and then they get to play something else. Uh, Dry Green Seeker is quite. Oh, the Exclusion Mage came back. That's fantastic. I'm so excited about that. I'm gonna take this in case we have a way to splash it. Wow, this deck looks, this deck looks sweet. I don't know if it's good, but it looks sweet. All of our creatures are just buff as buff a buff af. Ronus. Nullhide Ferox. Even Obstinate Bailos is 4 4 is pretty sizable. And then the life is definitely. Well, like, Kitchen Finks and Obstinate Bailos should be pretty good in terms of life gain for. Uh... Oh, I was hoping it was Mind Sculptor. But, like, we have we have the Immortal Sun. So, you know, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So, specifically for this deck, I think we want Farseek. Um, right now, I can only get a blue. I do like Mana Gorge or Hydra. It can get pretty pretty sizable as well. I bet this comes back, though. Let's be real. I think this is coming back. No one's going to take the Mana Gorge or Hydra. I'm going to take Farseek based on that, on that feeling. Oracle of Mully Dully. Oh, Treasure Pratt. Uh, too late, buddy. I already did ignore you. Get wrecked. I like this. I like this. And I like this. This will come back, though, because no, no one ever values this guy. I don't know if we're Torrential Gear Hulking here. What do we have to even get back? Not this. Uh, Cryptic Command. Mana Leak. And that's it. Yep. So we could take Baylos, have another 6 drop. <clears throat> we could take Oracle of Moldiah, but we have a lot of 4 drops already. I'm actually not a big Smuggler's Copter fan. I've never, I've never been a Smuggler's Copter fan. That's not to say it's a bad card. Don't get me wrong. Whatever. We'll take Bailoth. I guess. I guess that's our choice. Progenitor Mimic is interesting. Pelucranos is fine. Vizier of Many Faces is fine. 
Duplicant is fine. All right. Well, I don't know what to take here. We could just take Vizier here. Like being Vizier copying Carnage Tyrant is making me take Vizier. <clears throat> also, Progenitor Mimic on Carnage Tyrant is also pretty gas. So I'm okay with both of those things. Harmonize is nice. I'd rather just have Riftwing Cloud Skate. Don't eat cheesy. Wow, that is late. You guys have no respect for anything. Also, a Jace Vrin's Prodigy, which is super nice. However, we should steer clear of the the Planeswalkers, I think. Um, So, like, realistically, we don't have any reason to be Ashiok, especially because we have Immortal Sun. I think I'm just going to take the Thrag Tusk, and I think that's all right. Overgrown Tomb is nice. Like, these are just giving us ways to splash these black cards. Which we only have one of right now. Could just be Serum Visions. Could be Court of Calling. I don't think we're going to have the mana for Court of Calling. I mean, we're probably not playing anything from this pack, right? Like, we have 26 cards already. I'm going to take the Overgrown Tomb just in case something good comes around, like a Vraska. Oh, Polluted Delta. Polluted Delta lets us play all the things. Tatiova. <clears throat> Let's try the Tatiova for once. But there's also a Hornet Queen. Oh, no. All these packs have cards that I really, really want, and uh, in multiples, no less. I don't know what to do about that. Looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. Oh, Incinerate. Solid choice. I like an image on a tyrant. Uh, I actually do like image here. <clears throat> Surprisingly enough, I do like image. Um, Slaughter Pact is fine. Hissing Quagmire. We'll take a Hissing Quagmire. Managorger Hydra came back, guys. We're living our best life. Progenitor Mimic also came back. Wow, that's a thing. All right. Maybe we should have taken Nature's Claim there, actually. I got a little ambitious. Of course, we get Water Grave and Overgrown Tomb, but we don't get uh, Breeding Pool. I'm going to ruin some dreams here. I'm not in the bath because I've been off the toilet all day. Well, that's something. Oh, we get Kiki Jiki and Pestermite. How nice. Uh definitely cutting condescend here. That's an easy that's an easy cut. Demir Signet isn't great because we don't really have anything to Oh, but we can actually play the Overgrown Tomb for the Far Seek just to get a green source. Which is pretty okay. Uh Bayloth seems like a sideboard card for the aggressive matchups. This is twenty six now. We're almost there. Yikes. <coughs> Staking that's an easy cut is very condescending of you. You're right, and now I feel bad. Uh, Primus cost... Okay, so here's the thing. Primus cost a thousand mana. Yesterday, he spent a lot of time sitting in my hand. But every time I took it out, I boarded it back in because I really wanted a late-game card that does the thing Primus does. And we also don't have any other ways to deal with artifacts, enchantments, or planeswalkers, which Primus does in spades. So I don't think I see Primus getting cut. We're probably cutting one of these six drops. I think it's going to be Baylos here. I think Mimic is probably stronger. It's any creature on the battlefield as well. Important Immortal Sun does the old Planeswalkers pretty well. That's a good point. Two more cuts. I, 
think it's maybe mana leak. What if we just cut the mana leak in the cryptic command? And we just don't play any counter spells. I don't really care about counter spells. I can see playing the cryptic command just for the sake of be it being great. I mean, this is six six with hexproof in the cube. I think this guy's actually great. <clears throat> we also just don't have to play him. No, dude. What? Hey, treasure prep, buddy. Why don't you pipe down? How am I interacting? I play big idiots, and they have to deal with them. Like, I don't think these two. I answer. I don't think these two uh, reliably make me an interactive deck all of a sudden. I mean, I can see playing the cryptic command. I don't think Mana Link's great here, though. Like, we're tapping out most turns. <clears throat> I can take out Dungeon Geist, but Dungeon Geist also stops dude. We have, we have Sower. We have Mind Control. Uh, we have Exclusion Mage, we have Riftwing Cloudscape. Like, how are we interacting is a silly question. We have a bunch of cards that interact with things. Woodfall Primus in the late game. Like, the problem is I just don't think we're holding up four mana at any point in our deck. Like, we're never going to have, like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pass with four mana up. Like... I mean, we could play Prophet, sure. Yeah, actually, Prophet, Prophet makes a good argument for Cryptic Command. I'll take out the Mana Leak, though. And we're going we're gonna to cut one other thing. I don't know what to cut here. Do we have card draw? Not, not a ton. I mean... <clears throat> we have card advantage. We don't really have card draw. I mean, if we can get the Immortal Sun down, I'd be like... Good times. No, I think Exclusion Mage is great. I think Exclusion Mage is one of the points of interaction that we really want. Like, bouncing one of their things in. I can see cutting Kitchen Finks and then just bringing it in. Yeah, I like that. Uh, we're going to play Sanctum and Overgrown Tomb. And then we have 8-7. This is 9-9-9. Nine, nine, nine. That seems fine. I actually think Dungeon, Dungeon Geist is pretty good here. not gonna lie you should sign a kiki jiki once we actually could we could play stomping ground and we can make two red off of this and a sylvan carry added and a far seek we can go get the uh, stomping ground it, it did cross my mind uh i like this hand looking for some hot stuff looking for some pop time keep uh, why tomb? So we can get it off of a far seek if we need a green source. <clears throat> Ooh, I see. So we have a great curve here if we can hit two more lands. I'm okay with it. <coughs> Looking for some hot stuff, baby. Now I have the now I have hot stuff in my head. Oh, got this. Look at this full on Golgari deck here. Ever going to Woodland Cemetery and Elves of Deep Shadow? That's something. Our, our start is significantly less exciting. And if they just go, like, acidic slime next turn, we're going to be pretty bummed out. <clears throat> but we do have a uh, sword into Dungeon Geist. If they don't mess with our mana, I think we're okay. I'm also not looking forward to any sort of primeval titan, so. Yeah, 2% was always my go-to when I drank, like, I mean, I'm not against milk, but I don't drink it straight anymore because that seems kind of weird to me. I just drink soy milk now because it seems less weird. Mm. 
Looking for some hot stuff maybe this evening. Yep. What up, JT? <laughs> Frank is my favorite coworker. Oh man. If they plow under us, I would have scooped. I would have just been like, next game. <sighs> this is probably still, still scoop city here. This does not feel like it's going well. They get to draw three cards next turn, and we have one card on board, and they can literally kill it if they wanted to. Boy, I sure wish this was like a clever impersonator or something. Mm, boy. Yeah, we did not have the uh, <clears throat> the start they did. That's for sure. I'm not giving up though. I'm playing this dungeon ghosts. Where did I catch us round one? That is correct. We are in round round one. So they did draw three, as we predicted. God, Neon Tokyo, dude. Thank you for getting the song stuck in my head. Ugh, just kidding. Don't not 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 really. Thank you. Make a pirate. A pirate. Is that what you do? Is that what you do? Oh, attacking with your channeler initiate, eh? Unfortunately, they don't have any good creatures here to steal. They just have a bunch of token idiots. If I could get rid of this, I feel like we'd be fine. But, alas. Oh, where's the immortal sun when you need it? Well, I mean, we're one mana. Shy, anyway. Are you coming down this turn? Oh, yeah. That's how we do. <clears throat> Bounce this idiot. rough pretty sure we're just killing Garrick here actually we're not in terrible shape surprisingly <coughs> how did they play Vraska? they tapped all their mana and cast it they had this guy and this guy and four mana How do you cast Vraska's nerd? <laughs> um, I'll go to Thrag Tusk. I like having a flyer when they have a Vraska. So, uh, yeah, there's there's been yeah there's been GRN cards for the past week. Come on, Fitz, get it together, buddy. All right, that seems fine. <clears throat> I 
I mean, I'm surprised we're still in this game as far as we are. Wow. A literal turn too late. Copying either one of these would just be utterly insane. The problem is they can just block and then remove the counter. So I guess we steal it. I don't know. Doesn't seem great, but... Do they tap it in response? Super awkward draw. Like, last turn, if we were able to copy Thrag... I mean, they have a Vrask on board, so it's not like it would have stayed on board forever, but... Sure. It's stealing a 3-4 is not the worst. Now they lose an Elf of Deep Shadow as well. Alright. We're getting somewhere. They do get to get a Garrick back. Uh, after this Eldest Reborn pops. Kiki would have been great. Would it have been, though? I don't know if that's even true. I don't think we're really copying anything on this board that's really uh, valuable. <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of decent targets in the graveyard. Dim Shadow, welcome back. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. You're the hero we need. Seems good. Seems timely, as it were. Oh! Oh, we can progenitor mimic the Reclamation Sage and then kill this and kill these and kill this. Oh, that's gas. The gasoline is real. Not, them not being able to get something back next turn is utterly insane. This is great. This is good times. Oh, yes. How are we still alive? I thought this game was over a year ago. Uh, we're less alive now. Oh, we can also cap now. We're going to copy the Reclamation. I wish we can copy the Skin Render. That would be insane, getting a Skin Render every turn. Like, we really have to get rid of this, unfortunately. Right? Because, like, they can't get back a Garrick or a Riftwing Cloudskid or a Thrag Tusk. But then they just kill this, I guess, and attack for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, alright, so we're basically dead. Uh, Progenitor Mimic has, has been just fine for me at the time. So I think it's that's actually completely... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Experience-based. This is fascinating. I guess they don't even have to kill Reclamation Sage here. I think we're still dead here <laughs> so we copy this guy we kill this guy and then we don't have enough to deal with all the menace guys all right well we tried actually we held on in the game significantly longer than i thought Actually, I think Doomfall is probably worth playing here. Uh, we can bring a Watergrave for Island. We can bring in Farseek. Dem Demir Signet might be better than Farseek, even. But I'm not sure. I mean, both of these are going to get us a Black Source, right? Actually, we can play Hissing Quagmire over Forest, too.
make a bunch of little changes. Take out the mind control. We have Sower of Temptation. That seems fine. They didn't have a ton of creatures on their own. Uh, we already have Vizier, Progenitor Mimic, or something like we have a bunch of creatures. So, yeah, bring in the Spell Pierce also seems pretty good. Just bring in all the counter spells. All right, we'll give it a go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So we're definitely not six owing this uh, this draft, unfortunately. If they play like an Elves Deep Shadow, Deep Shadow, I might just be tempted to Phantasm Image it. No planeswalkers worse than planeswalkers. Yep. Sure. Monsanto, I'm actually impressed that you managed to misspell planeswalkers both times in that sentence. That is actually uh, quite a feat, my friend. Cryptic Command, huh? Okay. I would have thought Phantasmal Image, but sure. Or not uh, Sword of Body and Mind, but all right. Sure. We could copy this and play Quagmire. I think we're just going to get the sword out there for now. I hate Twitch on what what does Twitch have to do with it? Hey, don't blame your don't blame your typing on Twitch, buddy. You got the same keyboard for every app. Can't tell if they're missing a land drop or not. Well, now they're. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. Oh, that could be very good. I actually like copying this here because, you know, what's our alternative? They can't target it, which is nice. And we get to keep up Spell Pierce. I mean, I'm really hoping for a Vraska. Uh, why not copy Elf so we can attack with it? Uh, because we can't equip it with a sword of body and mind because it would be a Phantasmal Image. Nothing we copy with Phantasmal Image is ever becoming a sword of body, uh, is ever being equipped. <laughs> I get to speak out loud and make fun of people who are typing on their spelling errors. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. I get to do that. That is a that is a feature, not a bug. <clears throat> I 
Utopia Sprowl. Okay. You got it. That's it? That's your play? Fascinating. I'll fatal push it. I'll still fatal push it. I was thinking about it because I realized I could play it after it was equipped, and that's fine. I'll just wait till the end of the turn to do my fatal pushing. No? All right. Well, then, you old horses from a Monty Python sketch, by the way. I didn't know that. Really? You're going to play around Spell Pierce? That's interesting. Sure. Like, you didn't play around Mana Leak there. You played around Spell Pierce, which is kind of interesting. Like, if it was a Mana Leak in my hand, it'd still be countered. Fascinating. <clears throat> yeah, them just drawing it when they conveniently have two mana up seems pretty convenient. Time Warp consistently unimpresses me. It's weird. Let's try to hit a land here. We did it. One, two, three, four. Ferox. I think that was Neil Diamond, yeah. Good, good ear there. <laughs> time Warp is meh. I mean, next time we get to attack and then Time Warp, which is nice, but... You got it. See you later, Dryad Green Seeker. You drew me a card. You did your job. I appreciate you.
And they have one card in hand. Again, this is a situation where, like, if we can just get rid of Vrasco, it'd be fine. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Like, Vrasco's really the problem here. If we can go land into Woodfall Primus, I'd, like, pump the fist. Like, Vraska's basically the card that won the last two games. If our opponent didn't have Vraska, I don't think these games would have gone the way they went. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're paying four more mana? No, you're not paying four more mana. They have six mana total. Vraska and eight mana. Touche. Touche. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, six, seven. <clears throat> well, that ain't terrible. So, I guess we're just going to attack. And if you want to, like, triple block... that guy this is where they go fatal push <laughs> now they wouldn't have paid four mana last turn if they had a fatal push so <clears throat> it's your boy Thoughts on Mono Black Devotion in Modern? Uh, I've always liked Mono Black Devotion in Modern. I think it's a deck that's like just on the cusp of being very, very good, but it also it seems fine when you're playing it. Like you can actually just deal a bunch of damage out of nowhere. This guy's just eating things, which is great. Old Carney T. That's where they go, damnation. Make a guy with Varaska, and I'm just going to be like. Oh, at 5 0 competitively? That's gas. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Well, so long, Sylvan Carry added. I mean, you have to deal with this, otherwise they copy Carnage Tyrant. Oh, awkward. Boom, 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 boom. So we can just steal Skin Render and attack both at Vraska. And then if they block, block, she still takes five. She goes to two, which means she can't kill something. This might have been what they were going to play last turn, maybe. That seems good. Not great, but good. Because now we can play spells again. So we can play Sower, steal this guy, and kill Vraska. Oh, Menace. I was like, why are you attacking? This seems insane. I guess we don't actually have to steal Skin Render. But we have no reason not to. They have one card in hand. They just get Vraska back, though. Oh, God. <sighs> Super obnoxious. Like, they just get to take... They get to either Phantasm Image, Carnage Tyrant. They probably just get back Vraska, though, and then kill the Sower of Temptation. I feel like I'd rather discard Spell Pierce than Forest, especially with the... Um... Whatever. Get her off the board. Uh, we can't steal and activate Quagmire. We do not have that much mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You have a million treasures. Like, you can just play literally anything you want. I'm just going to play this and discard the Spell Pierce. I think that's probably better. I think the Forest gets us closer to Woodfall Primus, whereas Spell Pierce isn't doing much when they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 mana. Like, if they play an 8 drop and they don't have a... 
We don't have uh, an eight drop spell, which I don't even think is in this cube, other than like Court of Calling. Uh, yeah, it's just we're not going to be able to counter anything with Spell Pierce at this point. Um, double block. No, that's fine. Yeah, we double block, they kill Sower, they get their skin render back. Not ideal. Yep, that's a dude. It's not great. I mean, if we, do we trade here? And then just get it back with Eldest Reborn? That seems terrible. None of this seems good for us. I guess we could have attacked with Sower there. That was pretty bad. God, see, like the, the sad thing is I love the way this deck looked. Yeah, activating Quagmire is literally our plan against Grave Titan. Oh, Vraska, you don't say. Yeah, oh, Vraska killing Sower of Temptation, you don't say. Having to deal with Vraska three times in two games is pretty bad. Oh, this is this is good for us. Maybe. Phyrexian Arena. Coalition Relic. <laughs> sure. Can't beat any of these things that's happening right now. Like, all their cards are two for ones, and our cards are like Prophet of Crufix, Coalition Relic, Spell Pierce. Woodfall Primmy, one time. One time. Does that do anything? Maybe. Let's attack Vraska here. I'll block with three Zombinos. We actually could put a Vizier in. Copy a Skin Render to kill it. I like copying a second Carnage Tyrant, but... Wow. Fascinating. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, this is a good block, I guess. So, we're definitely prioritizing these three guys. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, copy the Carnage Tyrant. <sighs> got a bunch of dudes off the board, and we still got a Carnage Tyrant out of it. Remember that, remember that time we had a Mortal Sun in our deck? Yeah, that's a good card. That's a good card. Immortal Sun. Immortal Sun. Woodfall Primus and Immortal Sun. Those are good cards. Yep, Forest is good too. That's nice. I don't think we're winning this game. They have two Planeswalkers and a Phyrexian Arena and we have one Carnage Tyrant and a 
bunch of lands. So, land, Thrag Tusk, Sylvan Carry added. Yep. All right, cool. Literally didn't see. Did they say something? Yeah, they did. I'm sure it was something. Uh, all right. So, wait, why am I doing this? Yeah, all right, cool. All right. <laughs> Oh yeah, this hand's great. <laughs> this hand is great. Stupid dumb, appreciate it. You can feel free to throw a link in there. Wow, which of our two drops do we play? Holy smokes. Considering how it land, probably definitely want to get some sort of acceleration out here. This could help us draw lands. So I, I would actually err on the side of not far seek because we want to draw lands. We don't want to thin our deck further. So like even as tiny of a percentage it is for us to to thin our deck, like I still we'd still get the same effect here. We'd have a blocker and we'd have uh, any color mana. <laughs> I see. That's uh, that's something right there. Yep, that's awkward. Icereth. Land? Can I get a land? Nice. So we can go far seek. Get the overgrown tomb so we have a second green. And we can go Riftwing Cloud Skate. All right. I'll take three here. And then I'll steal that. Phantasmal Imaggio. We can go Phantasmal Image here and then Ronus. Does that do anything? Not really. I'm just going to take this. Especially because we can get our Dryad Green Seeker back. That's kind of cool. Oh, you stole my... I like that I'm playing against Mono Black, so they likely don't have a good answer for Mind Control. They probably just have to kill the creature. That's pretty okay. And they did. <laughs> So a two for one. Got rid of Icerath and a Vraska's Contempt for uh, the other thing. Yep, that's a thing. I would love to copy this Woodfall Primus, but we are not in that position. 
Boom, ba da dum, 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 ba da Sure, surveil all you like. Just three out on a barbecue step. Nice. Well done, buddy. Well done. I believed in you. So they put a, an Erebos in the graveyard and they kept the other card, which is undoubtedly going to target our Doom Whisperer. It's probably like a disfigure. I don't understand things. If we have land, land, we can play this. Oh, I'm actually just going to bounce it. That seems okay. Um, graveyard and top. <laughs> oh, man. The exact card and all of the entire cube. The exact card. I don't understand it. Oh, are we getting this guy already? I think this guy's coming down right now, right? Oh, that's 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 just biscuits. Actually, it's not terrible. We can bounce this guy, pump the Riftwing Cloud Skate, or we can actually just time warp here. But we don't get to really do much with that time warp. Oh, I didn't even draw a card yet. Huh. Huh. That's pretty funny. Nine, yeah. Sure. Let me guess. D Whisper again? Can you give me one land off the top? One, two, three, one, two. And you can't attack. So I guess we'll just play this guy. Bounce this dude again. The tempo is real. So we can just equip this, equip this, and then we can attack with both. They're going to block. I guess they take five. Too bad that island ended up in the graveyard. Yeah, it's not it's not ideal, but I didn't need it at the time, you see. <laughs> sure. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're like two away from this stupid idiot. I'm just gonna time warp here. We have nothing to do, and we know they're just gonna untap play Doom Whisperer, so. I guess we could actually pump this twice, right? And just attack. That's also not terrible. We can do that next turn. It's four or more, right? Not gonna play this until next turn. I'm not gonna copy this guy. We could copy this guy and pump it actually, and then attack with Ronus. I think that's actually the play. Yeah, no, this is the play. I don't want to wait. We don't have to do it now, or we don't have to wait because they have to block at some point anyway. Like Ronus is just lethal all the time. Oh my god! I just want a 
fight myself right now. That was terrible. Oh god. I hate this game. I knew I knew the plan. We had the plan. Pump it now, attack, and then we just skip past it. Never happens in real life. Yep, that's cringy. That's cringy. It's almost like I don't want to win these games. Is this real? This is a bold strategy. <laughs> All right, so we win. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, good lord, that's great. Oh, I'll just attack into your run. Oh, you can pump that guy to make Aronis online. I don't know how to do that, so please attack into me. Thank you. Everybody wins. Oh, man, that moment made it worth it, right? And then my opponent's like, he doesn't know how to do that. What an idiot. And I'm like, nah, man, we're good. Also, Mox Ruby is in the chat. So, hey, Mox Ruby, hope you're enjoying the stream. Even though that was weird that you attacked into my guy. I don't understand it, but all right. Why don't we copy Ronus? Because it's legendary. So it dies. Something about legend rules. <laughs> you know, that old thing, that old song and dance. I think so. Art bring Bailoff in. I also kind of like Metal Lake here. What was the guy's username? It's Mox Ruby. They're still in the chat right now. So everybody say hi to Mox Ruby. Oh, they missed a land drop? That's rough. Man, Ghostin's hard work. The problem is, like, if you're not ghosting, you don't get to hear this, right? Like, if you're if you're ghosting, then you're a piece of shit, and I don't, I don't mind calling you out on it. And you're going to hear that. If you're not ghosting, you'll never hear it. So it doesn't matter, right? It just goes into the abyss. So, I don't know. The point is, uh, the, like, realistically, don't go into people's streams when they're streaming and you're playing against them. Like, it just, it's a shitty thing to do and it doesn't make the person feel good. Well, they missed, like, two land drops, so. Is there anything I want to change here? Or even try to fool you. <laughs> I'd like to think it was the shame. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Or it's possible that ghosts have no shame. <laughs> I 
All right, so plus seven mountains, minus one Kikijiki. Oh, plus one Kikijiki. Well, he didn't tell me what to take out, so that's weird. I want this Bailoth in here just because it's another card that turns on Ronus. I also think in the in a vacuum, Rampaging Bailoth is better. I don't think I have to time warp. This is our deck. Yeah, this is better. Let's do this. I added two creatures and I took out a time warp, which is fine because we have Nullhide Ferox anyway. I think Profit's fine. Like, we can go Profit, untap, play another four or five drop, which seems fine. Yeah, I like that you guys want me to put in the, the Kiki Jiki, but not the Pestermite. That's good. That's a good, uh... You know what? I'm keeping it. I like to live dangerously. Playing against Goyf Daddy. Can we see the Simic version of the deck? I mean most most time most of the times the, the, the Twitch username and the MTGO name are the same. Like that's just super common. Because a lot of people use the same usernames for everything. Like, you could find them on forums or, you know, whatever. It's just the same username for everybody. How concerned are you about turning around us? Like, do you mean how much do I want to or how much am I worried that I can't? Which is, that question could go either way. How much do I want to? A good amount. Am I worried that I can't? Not really. Because she can always pump other other duders, which is what I'm going to do after this match. Just kidding. I'm not going to, but you guys are going to think I am, so. Look at this guy. Can I steal that? Funny story. I can steal that. How can you stay awake and I think about turn on run? Okay, no, we're not going. Nope, veto. <laughs> Let's add a blue and another blue. I'm gonna take this. Do 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 do. One, two, three. He's a goif daddy. Goif daddy. I wish I took that instead. It's a prime titan. That's a big dude. We can actually bounce our mind control and counter something next turn. Tap your team, bounce mind control. Steal the prime removal titan instead. That's cool. That's actually nice. I was actually uh, really glad I hit that forest there. Wow, this, this, this match. So they're mono green. So, uh, the, uh, mba, mba, mba thing and stuff. I don't think we care about them getting lands. We could actually bounce and tap. I think we're just going to take six here. Getting two more lands is fine. It's not great. I have 10 mana right now. That's a lot. I would love to block and then bounce, but that's not going to work. As soon as we bounce it, it just leaves combat, I believe. <laughs> oh, boy. Sort of body in mind. Against the blue-green deck? Just stop it. Yep, that's good. I mean, we have one too, but we have to draw ours, so. All right, so they have one card now. Actually, this is probably okay. Can we draw a Phantasmal Image too? That'd be such gas. Can you imagine? A 
That's all right. Uh, one, two, one, two. Give me this thing. This guy should be able to get us back in the game next turn. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Never, uh, never a dull moment with the green deck, guys. Never a dull moment. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those uh, like and subscribe buttons. You can slam that bell notification too. That bell notification, that bell button, and you'll get notifications whenever I go live. Oh, they're going to crack their verdant to get a forest. Does the excitement ever start? Now we are bringing more counter spells in. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That'll do. So long, little pig. That'll do. I will play first. Uh, this is actually a very keepable hand. Also, it's nice, I mean, like, it's nice that they're playing mono green because it gives us an idea of what we need to beat. Well, that's nice. Uh, yep. Garbage can, my man. So this guy should be a 3-3, three, three, theoretically, by our next turn, because we can have Ronus and whatever they play. Tireless Tracker is not the card you want to see in the green deck, because that dude is... Card Advantage City. Oh, can we copy that and then cast things? Two drop, two drop, two drop. That's a six drop. That's not the same at all. Do we Phantasmal Image this guy? I think we do. And then we can play Ronus next turn or steal something, depending on what happens. That feels better. Theoretically, I don't know if they're going to have a way to deal with this guy. I mean, they could go land, uh, sword, equ equip sword, and then we're just dead, so. Click the link. It's, you're going to tell me I have to know when to hold them. Can you? I'm a scat man. <laughs> that was actually very good. Look at all this mana you're getting. What a time to be alive. <laughs> I will add a mana. What are you going to do with it? Absolutely nothing. This guy's huge now. Can we just mind control your Beast Whisper? Let's do that.
mentioned cheese the other day and I thought to myself, damn, I want some white ones. White ones? Oh, I don't like regular. Oh, we're talking about uh, cheese its I imagine. I want some of them white ones. I really wish we took the nature's claim as well. But the only card we've seen is sort of body and mind, but it's very good. Uh, not good enough, but it's <laughs> there. Speak of the devil. All right. All righty then. We could also bring Doomfall in. It actually hits some very relevant things. I kind of like Doomfall here. I'll take actually profit could be very very good right so we're gonna take you out we're gonna take green out and we're gonna add a grave and quagmire so it's three black sources plus a relic which is four black sources plus a far seek which is five and plus a sylvan carrot which is six black sources demir signet could again come in I think Demir Signet might be better than Green Seeker, just because it's ramp. Like, we want to hit these four drops. And most are blue, so it's nice to have the Demir, which is the blue Signet. And now we have to cut one thing. I think it might actually be. It's either Profit or Bayloth. I like being able to go Profit, untap, and then play like a six drop or another four drop on their turn. Or even just Cryptic Command. Primus seems expensive, but it does things we need to be done. It kills, like, a sort of body and mind. Like, it kills a, a treetop village. Like, it kills things that need to be killed. Plus, it comes back. It's very resilient. It's nice to have one 8-drop, especially when we have, like, three or four, four pieces of ramp in our deck. Let's take out the Bayloth. We already have Thrag Tusk. Oh, uh, this hand seems good. We can hit lands, we're in good shape. If we can't, we're in bad shape. Farseek would be nice here. Ooh, no one drop is good for us. That is a land. The problem is Progenitor Mimic is a bad draw when it's an empty board or when they only have like a Lotus Cobra or a Bird of Paradise out. Like there's definitely situations. We already have Vizier of Memor Vizier of Many Faces and um, what's the other one? Phantasmal Image? Swamp. That do similar things. So like I don't want three cards in my deck that are dead on empty or, or unimpressive boards. This is all very interesting. Uh, Vizier does not copy walkers. You're likely thinking of Clever Impersonator. Fascinating. It was an aggressive beast within. Immortal Sun one day. I mean, we do need to hit more lands. <laughs> like this was that was a rough land destruction there. This feels good. You guys think this feels good? I, I think we're in really far behind now like they get to play five and six drops here seven drops if they untap this sure i 
Yeah, this doesn't feel good at all. I don't even know. I guess we do get this guy. We could actually pay two and remove the hexproof, kill this. Yeah, this seems good. Oh, I was talking about the Cheez-Its. Of course you were my friend. Oh yeah, all right. Now it feels better. Uh, Nissa, Nissa, your face. Yep, that was nice, because now they have to spend their turn replaying Nullhide Ferox, or just attacking with the Treetop Village, and that doesn't seem great. Oh, they play to land, then play Corsair. That's nice. That's good stuff. Zaxor, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Yep, I'll go to seven. Come on, land. Ugh, crying out loud. <sighs> There's not enough money in mind. Well, they're drawing a forest, which is nice. Actually, not going to attack here. I don't want to do the math, but I also don't want to. All right, so another forest on top. Forest, 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 cobra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven mana. As long as they don't have Acidic Slime or Rex Sage, huh? What is this? Hornet Queen. That's not terrible for us. It's pretty bad, but it's not great. It's not terrible. Oh, Jesus. That one land is brutal. Like, we can't play any of our five drops, and we're two turns away from a six drop, so... Watch Crater Hoofs right on the top. You ready? Forest again. Did they not play a land? Oh, they played the forest off the top. So we still know they have forest and forest in their hand. And are they going to play this Verdant Catacomb? Yes, they are. I think we're still dead here because we block here, we take four, we go to three. We block here, we take three and die. So like we're literally exactly dead. And we know they have two forests and two other cards in hand. So they're just going to play Crater Hoof here and kill us. Yep, because they never don't have it. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon and on MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore if you want to support the stream other than just watching on YouTube. Uh, really appreciate the help. Thank you guys so much. And uh, you get 15% off free shipping and free returns at MeUndies.com. So if you need those things anyway, please feel free to use my affiliate link. You can check that out in the description below. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.